I need to find this Reeve Goodwin. Selwyn's got some stones on him arresting Alfred's man. Who rules in winter? Goodwin gone. The guards sniffing around. So where would they have taken him? Is this what you want? Papers thrown in the fire. Goodwin covering his tracks. Other guards destroying evidence. Broken balls, food scattered. They took him by force. There must be a garrison in the city. A violent struggle with the guards. They must have taken him to Winchester's garrison.
a valuable man. Thick walls and thicker guards. A place to keep a valuable man. Reeve Selwyn ordered executions for petty theft and mudslinging. A husband and wife to be carried out soon. Dane in Winchester. These are strange times. King Alfred sent me, pleading from his bended knee to find someone. I know Alfred well enough to spot a bloody lie when I hear it. If he did send you, he was standing tall and proud. That he was, and you are the man I've come to find, Goodman. Do you know why? If I had one guess, to find these heretics from the Order of Ancients, and bury them so deep, even God would need a shovel. So where do we start digging? My research should help us. If they haven't burned it already, it'll be somewhere nearby. I will find your research. Now go before they find their wolf has fled his cage. Let's regroup beyond the walls! Search against the Order of Ancients.
Winchester mourns a good bishop, and a... I am grateful for your help. It is a brazen move to arrest Alfred's favorite reeve. This so-called order are nothing but deviled shit peddlers. Shit peddlers who have wormed their way into every crevasse of your country. They are dangerous. I didn't catch your name, did I? Eivor of the Raven Clan. Scourge of Mercia, if that name does not rattle some recognition. Well, Eivor, when our three heretics smolder on a heap of ash, we'll down a cup of ale together and share our distaste of Mercians like old friends. Alfred believes at least one is dead. Your bishop, Aelfirth, was the sixth. Bugger. Half of Winchester is in mourning for that nun groper. One calls himself the Quill. Are words his weapons? There were rumors of letters nailed up around Winchester. It may be that one of these can tell us more. The Gallows. What do you know of him? Must be another Reeve, I'm sure of it. Only we have the power to mete out justice, and this one would walk with cocksure righteousness. The Gallows had you arrested, so he must command the law. Reeve Selwyn? Of course! That hedge pig has brought down laws like a hammer on Winchester, executing sinners on spurious charges in the square. Could it be another? He's the man. He's the only one who fits. End his terror, Eivor. Good people of Winchester, open your eyes. See how Alfred's lofty ideals are weighed down in this mire of human effluence. These prisoners before you do not live by Alfred's laws. They live above them. They wallow in shit, only guided by their own perversity. Hubert here, his wits addled by ale, spoke false of Bishop Aylfer, our pious servant of Winchester, who even now lies cold in his grave shroud. Aylfer was no man of God. He'll burn for his sins. Your wife is obeying shrew, Hubert. Is there a man here who has not supped rancid mead from her cup? When will your work be done, Selwyn? When all of Winchester falls to your justice? Winchester has passed judgment, Hubert. May God have mercy on your cankerous soul. <laughs>
perverter of justice. Who dares execute the king's noose? It is not in Alfred's name that you carry out your work. You are the Order's executioner. <laughs> you peer through the veil, but you do not see clearly. Alfred's laws are a slave's fever dream. He offers shit-soaked beggars a seat at his table, where the meek devour the strong. Who best to judge the fate of the wretched many, if not the strong and worthy few? To protect your people, you must sheathe your hand in an iron glove. You grind your heels into the backs of freedmen, not those who deserve it. The Order condemns all men to pain. For all men are but a shadow of the perfection we should know. The perfection of the Ancient Ones. You are only a man, Reed. One dead branch on a fast dying tree. I should meet with Goodwin, see what he has found on the quill. found on the quill. Selwyn is dead. His lies poisoned everyone against us, and for what? Some only care for their own power and position. I'm sorry I could not save your husband. My son is not an orphan today. You did more than enough. Oh, God. What do you see, Sunim? Do you believe in souls? Part of us that lives on with God after we die. Bishop Aelfus passes. What is that boy doing all the way up there? What are you doing all the way up here? Don't try and stop me. I will get that flower, and then she'll see how much I love her. A brave choice, little fellow. Even if I get smashed on the ground like an, an overripe plum, I'm just getting my breath back. The climb was hard. I'm girding my uh, uh, loins. Lions, eh? Well, I could get it for you. I would hate to see such a ferocious flame snuffed out. I mean, if you insist. But I could get it if I wanted to, just so you know. Mangled noggin. What a terrible show! Boo! Boo! He shall that way.
He missed! The stranger missed! That could have been Esselbert's mangled noggin! What a terrible show! Heaven will swallow the smoke of Aelfeth's pyre? Very poetic. A cheerful heart is good medicine. But a crushed spirit dries up the bones. Does Magister Batter not teach you the scriptures? Magister Batter is a horse's dangles. And here is the axe I used to swat a fly. You have ventured from your burrow. And you have plunged my city into chaos. I had hoped you would use the lessons of your subtler gods. We have no subtle gods. If the gallows is truly dead, perhaps we can allow cautious revelry? I did only what I agreed to, Alfred. If your crown now weighs heavy, I would gladly take it from you. <sighs> Forgive my outburst. God sowed in me a passion, but English prose is an instrument long out of tune. We all want better for our people, don't we, Eivor? Yours and ours. The quill remains. What do we know? The decay of learning has been gentle in Wessex. We enjoy the office of wise men, but we have neglected the study of wisdom. The quill preys on this lapse. Someone disagrees with your reforms, Alfred, and he is calling the children to arms. Now we know why so many children scurry through the streets, feral and untutored. I can talk to some, see where they lead me. Good. Find me at the alehouse when you're done, and try not to scare the piss from any of them. We Norse are the monsters of your Saxon mother's bedtime tales. I promise nothing. I see you, child. Come. The bad Reeve, Selwyn. I saw you punish him in the square. He hurt many people. Yes. He hurt my mother to death. Then took her good luck charm. Perhaps you found it? A little carved tree. It is all I have to remember her by. Such a sad story. Take this. Perhaps it will keep you off the streets and out of trouble. For me? Oh, thank you. Spry, little mouse. Will you lead me to your quill? Cut purse. Keep your beak out, Nosy! I'm starving! <laughs> God's beard! You'll set Winchester ablaze! Roly poly mutton man! You can't catch me! God help me. I'd rather be shoveling dung in Malvern again. 